Hallelujah. I want to make a prophetic prayer for you. Yes, for your listening to me. I want to make a prophetic prayer over your life. There are seven things and, and God is God is going to be touching concerning your life in this in this in this prayer I want to make. The first thing is going to be touching the relationship. The relationship. And that is it. It's going to be touching your relationships. And second, it's going to be it's going to be opening your eyes to your to the prophecies concerning your life. The prophecies concerning your life. And I said it's going to touch your relationship and the prophecies concerning your life. And second, it's going to be touching. It's going to be it's going to be leading you in the direction of his expectation for you in this season. And another, it's going to be giving you. It's going to be leading you into the light of your victories. The light of your victory. Then another thing is going to be is at, at this particular point is going to give you is going to empower you with conviction to know who to allow to come close to you in this particular season because the wrong people will not fight and frustrate your miracle. Another thing is going to empower you to walk into the sacred. I'm talking about isolating you from distractions that wants to tamper with the prophecies he has released concerning you. Then another thing, there is a celebration that is to manifest. That celebration will not be cut short. Now, I want you to understand that these seven things are like seven major keys, but there's some, it, it is all summarized under one thing, the flex, your flexibility to the leadership of the Spirit of God. No matter what I have said, if you cannot submit to the Spirit of God, you will not see any of the manifest. And I want you to take this and know that if a man is going to be, if a man is going to be very um, serious over his destiny, he will take the Spirit of God to enable that man, because it is the Spirit of God that sustains every man to the battle and to the victories that they want to see at the end of the day. So engaging is not a problem; is to be able to come home with a victory that is actually there. So if you are going to submit yourself to the Holy Ghost to the Spirit of God, then congratulate yourself. Know already that it is time for you to celebrate because it is for sure that this particular word is accurately for you. I pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus. By the hand of God, you will not allow people rob you of your prophetic blessings in this season. In the mighty name of Jesus, I stress and make emphasis so strong about prophetic blessings because I understand that prophetic blessings it is what keeps a man updated. Yes, a prophet came to a man and told a prophet came to a man and told a man by prophecy that God said he's going to die. God on the on that on that prophet's way home, the that man whom was prophesied to get and face the war and pray to the Lord and God changed the prophecy and sent that same person who came and prophesied doom and the person came and, and said God has added your years. It means if the man engaged in prayer with consciousness, something could happen. What did that man do? That man convocate heaven and convocate life circumstance and Great and victory manifest. I want to let you know that when Daniel was engaged for 21 days, an angel appeared to him rendering an apology. Sir, we are sorry. Your prayer was answered from day number one, but I was interrupted by a prince of Persia. I want to let you know that your blessings have been released, but if you understand flexibility, when you're flexible to the Spirit of God, you can trap it easily. I pray you will not walk away from your miracle, but you will lead a life that will make the miracle manifest in Jesus' name. God bless you.